I have never competed in a cooking competition. I am nervous. I have a master chef judging my meal right now. Welcome to This Is Fire. Eight top OnlyFans creators will go head to head to make some of the world's favorite dishes. You only have 30 minutes. I'm already sweating. Let's cook. I honestly Flowers. don't know what fennel is. I thought it was a bird. They could be raw in the middle. We got one minute. That does not look right. And I cut my finger. Three. The oven's smoking, I'm burning myself. Two. I fucked up. One. <laughs> Who will take home the $20,000 grand prize? Time is running out. Let's meet who will be putting it all on the line for the last spot in the finale and the grand prize of $20,000. I'm back, feeling great. After Chef gave me his comments after the, the first episode, I went home and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna order in. I was like, no, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta practice. Today, you can see I wore black. So everyone is, they're not turning up their noses like they were during round one, so I think we're good. It's good to be back. Uh, taking a different approach today, so we'll see how it goes. I've got no idea what this dish is gonna be today. I'm hoping it's not seafood again, just because I wanna try something new. I'll, I'll kill whatever you give me. Chefs, how are we feeling? Fantastic. Fantastic. My competitor is actually from another season of the show that I've done previously. We know each other very well. I've got a vengeance on me because Stevan has been talking a whole lot of shit, so we can't allow him to win at this point. So Stev, how's the finger? Finger's fine, man. You doing okay? I'm good. Finger's good. Finger's wrapped up. We're chilling. We're not gonna have another repeat of that one. We're just gonna keep it calm. After round one, it was a simple dish to produce, right? But as you progress through the rounds, I'm thinking, okay, semi-final, it's not gonna be anything too simple, right? Guys, we're at the semi-finals. Mm -hmm. This is chicken parm. <laughs> chicken parm. I don't think I've even ever had a chicken parm. What I like in chicken parm is that uh, I like the chicken tenderized, mm -hmm. seasoned well. I like my tomato sauce. Beautifully bright color, using natural ingredients, and I want to see some pasta or potatoes on this dish. Well, I've never made anything fried in my life, so this should be fun. <laughs> Make sure you do that really good roast, just yes, like sir. how you did that beautiful cauliflower form. On it, don't worry and about it. Watch your fingers, gotcha. yes. Chef, focus on time. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> That's a subtle dig. <laughs> so get it done. Semifinals, guys. This is a shot for the final, and a chance to win twenty thousand dollars. I think today my plan of attack is gonna be slightly different. Kylie was a very sweet girl, but Stevan, best believe he's getting a whole fucking tub of iodized salt straight in his dish. Let's see who comes out on top. Chef Stev, you ready? I'm ready, baby. Chef Nathan, you ready, baby? Ready to roll. With 30 minutes on the clock, let's cook. Chicken palm, guys. Chicken palm. Everyone's been to Olive Garden. We've all experienced a five out of 10 chicken parm, so I think that maybe if I get it to this Olive Garden level, good to go. I know what a chicken parm is at the end of the day, but I've never thoughtfully said, oh, let's go get a chicken parm or made one. You're probably better at this than me, huh? <laughs> Beating my meat? Yeah. <laughs> this is ideal because I have beaten meat every night for probably about 18 years. I'm just, I'm perfect. I'm perfect for this job. You don't want it too paper thin, but you want it enough, enough to still hold flavor and seasoning, boys. Talk to me, Chef. Oh, so the chicken I'm not so worried about. Okay. Because it should be a short cook, right? Right. Potatoes, they, you can never really get them too soft. I'm trying to think about everything now. So I'm gonna make the dish as simple, like I did in the last round, dumb it down. Anything come in your head from when you, you, you smoking your meat? Not really. Okay. It's, a, it's complete, it's completely different, different way to cook. Huh? I never, I never fry. This yeah. is gonna be something new for me. Right on. I just, I'm confident in the timings that I think, I think if I fry it, we'll get to roll. So get those suckers in. That's gonna be the first thing I do. Potatoes in the boil, and then I can focus on everything else. What's up, brother? What's up, my man? How are you? I'm oh, good, man. I'm going way slower cutting today, that's for sure. How are you gonna season today? So Chef made a few comments on the last round about my seasoning and just making sure that there is enough seasoning in it. So I'm gonna add a little bit, but the worst thing you could do is season too much. I did bring my own seasoning. Uh, Old Bay? O Old Bay. Yeah, Old you, brought Bay. Your, you brought your Old Bay? I brought my own Old Bay. <laughs> Let me see this. Got you. <laughs> Cayenne too. Let's get it. <laughs> you 
did your homework, huh? Yeah. All right, my man. So I'm expecting greatness today. Uh, I'm expecting I am flavor. too, honestly. All right, all right. <laughs> today, I'm focusing a lot more on making sure everything comes together properly. Uh, during the last round, the butternut squash was not soft enough, so I'm immediately putting the potatoes into the boiler. And from there, I'll work on everything else. We are pushing for the finals. And the finals is a grand prize of $20,000. Really want to see something great right I mean, here. It feels good enough to be able to win, but I'll take 20 grand too. Uh, yeah. If, if, I, if you have to. $20,000 bite. Come on now. Yeah. So you keep, you keep putting him off over there? Keep talking to him? Yeah, yeah. Can you, so you can uh, still <laughs> focus. Yeah. Right, right. So you're going to roast these vegetables. Going to roast them. Season, yes. I'm going to season them up. Going to get Perfect. a bit of olive oil on them. Yes. I maybe messed up with putting the truffle oil on. It's first, okay. But, it's okay. But, hey. you're, you're finishing up right here. Yeah, it's silence over there, huh? Yeah, I man. love it. We in it. Well, usually in the kitchen, don't talk to me. Like, I, I cannot do both. 25 minutes, guys. 25 minutes. Fast semi five minutes, finals. Boy. Semi finals. You guys <laughs> won. What? 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 Get tomato juice out of it, huh? What's your method on this? Talk to me. Uh, in case I need to liquefy a little bit afterwards. Okay, okay. Um, depending on how much it gets seared out. Okay. I want to make sure that there's some juices left over that are pure and fresh. Okay. Just to throw in the mix. Right on. I wanted my dish to be a little bit thicker for the pasta sauce, just so that it got the right elements to it. So I squeezed out the tomato juice at the beginning, just so that it wouldn't fry too heavy and like make like a burn. And then just threw the dried out version of the tomatoes on the pan. Tomato juice dropping in that roast right there. Awesome. Okay, now I can focus on my well, chickens. I lived in the South for seven years, so in my mind, everyone's like, buttermilk chicken. So boom, there's buttermilk right there. So buttermilk, flour, egg wash, probably with a little buttermilk in, breadcrumbs, boom, get it in the fryer. Onions, roasting them as well? Yep, just throwing all the veggies in the same thing. Perfect. They're all gonna go in the same place at the end of the day anyway. So. Oh yes, you know one thing about just onions, tomatoes, and garlic go a long way with the right amount of zest, guys. We're gonna caramelize them veggies, huh? Yep. Oh, beautiful. You're gonna get a good, good caramelized. And remember, I have uh, I have wine on the shelves as well. So if you want to deglaze, oh, honestly, there you go. Also, yeah. you know what I mean? You have a red, you have red wine over there? I got white wine. Oh yeah, we do yeah, have red do wine. Have red That's wine. red wine. Yeah. You want red or white, Chef? I want a little bit of red. Chef Nathan? Uh, I'm gonna go red if I can. Yeah. Don't copy Just, me, boy. It's gonna be right at the end. We need that. It's good. good. Stuff? Yeah, good. it's good stuff, man. You're good. Chef needs a break too. <laughs> How you doing over there? I'm chilling, baby. How you doing? I feel like we're just in the kitchen huh? vibing at yeah, this so point. Yeah, so you guys, uh, you guys know each other to a degree. We're from the same family. Yeah. You can say okay. That. Same family. Yeah. Different, um, different moms. Yeah. Different moms, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Not really, okay. We've been with the same mom a few times though. But. <laughs> that was just on a good Friday night. <laughs> you guys should definitely call uh, her dad. Yeah. I, I called her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you naughty boys. All right. Okay, pressure of this round. It's, it's actually multiple levels of this. One is it's it's guy on guy, right? <laughs> Two, he is obviously, I've known him for quite a while. He's a friend of mine. It was kind of like we were just fucking around in the kitchen having a good time. How much time are we looking at, Chef? Don't worry about that. Hey, you stick to your side. Let me ask my question. 20, 20 minutes. minutes. This is the fastest minutes. 10 minutes I've ever seen. Hey, can you open this for me? Hands yes, are slippery, my brother. Hey. Hey, yeah, you're not strong enough? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I gotta wait 20 seconds. Oh, I'll take my time, don't worry about it. <laughs> Move the fuck out of my way. <laughs> I feel like I was hanging out with the boys, man. Like I wanted to start talking shit with them. I was just like, yeah, fuck you and fuck you too. Or like, you know, <laughs> just for fun. All right, let's see how she looks. Let me see. The chicken itself, in my mind, is gonna take about six or seven minutes. Breading our chicken. All right. When it comes to frying, I don't typically fry. However, I air fry everything. How are we feeling with the breading right now? I don't know. Realize the, the breadcrumbs just aren't sticking to my chicken too well. I think the egg wash, I might need to add a little bit more egg wash, no? You could, hey, you could double dip. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna double dip it. Oop. We all making a mess over we this side. We are making a mess, but I'll, I'll help you, bro. Bread in our chicken, put it in flour. Are you double breading? Are you double dipping right now? I thought three might be too much, one's not enough, so I'm just gonna do it twice. Everyone loves a double dip. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm throwing this shit everywhere. You guys are having fun. Let's go. <laughs> You're making a mess over here, baby. That's how you do it, though. That's how you cook in the kitchen. Oh, fuck. Okay, chicken's in the fryer. Every, everything's rolling, everything's cooking. All right, now I'm kind of just kicking my heels. Chef Stan is coming over here to uh, fry his uh, beautiful chicken. That, that was the first time I've ever fried anything in my entire life. 15 minutes, yes. 15 minutes. It's smelling great in here. All right, I guess I'm gonna get this whole blender scenario out again. Got you. 
Now I think I'm gonna have to focus on my sauces, so. What are you okay. thinking? Now I'm just kinda, yeah, I mean the sauces. Check your veggies, Jeff. Smells great. You might wanna put that in a pan to keep the process going. They're not gonna cook as quickly as I want them to in the oven, so go ahead and get them in the pan. That way I can speed up the process, saute them a little bit. Don't forget about your chicken, good timing. Good timing must be cooked through, guys. If I eat see raw chicken, I'm gonna feel so sorry for you guys because you're spending all this time right now. And he's not even gonna taste it. Oh, Make sure that color, yep. How are we feeling, Chef Nathan? How are you feeling right now? Your timing's working, I, I feel like. Uh, I feel like you, I, I think the timing's getting better. Okay. I think I performed a lot better in this round, more because I knew what to expect. I think round one came into it completely blind. This time I got a little bit of time to think it over. Plastic in it this time. No, no, no plastic. plastic. No right, plastic sweet. in our sauce, Chef. <laughs> chef, I love it. You're, 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 you're searing your chicken parm. Yep. And you're gonna throw it in and bake it the rest of the way, huh? Yes, sir. Now, see what I Chef Nathan do, over here looking and seeing what you're doing. He's more worried about you right now. Good, as he should be. Okay. The reason why I'm pan searing it is I want to get the proper crisp to it and make sure that the outside is just as well done as the inside. I put it in the oven for the cheese to melt on top and just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. The most challenging part about this dish is, for one, was frying the chicken. I'll be honest, I've never fried chicken before. Um, it's also creativity, right? How do you make a chicken palm my own? 11 minutes, boys. Uh, potatoes, 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 potato, potato. Check them, fork them, see where they're at. Grab a bowl, smash them, add flavor. I absolutely love cheesy mashed potato. That's why I thought about the cheesy mash, right? That's my little touch on things that perhaps I could put my flair on it. I like your focus. I like your creativity. How are we doing with our potatoes, Chef? Doing all right, brother, doing yeah. all right. Perfect. I want to do a garlic potato with a little bit of salt, some pepper. I didn't want to do a lot of oomph and craziness. I wanted it to be light and fluffy and simple. I actually don't believe that the pressure was as intense as it was last round, only because me and Nathan do know each other. I didn't realize it was going to be such a personal battle. There you go, get him. Really nice, really nice. Obviously there's a huge grand prize here that we're talking about. That being said, this was more about me versus him than it was about money. $20,000, guys, taste as you go. I mean, it tastes pretty fucking good. Heck yeah, look at that face. Who am I to swear? Oh, heck yeah. It's kind of bragging rights as well. Look at, the, look at all the sauce going on the wall, chef. I want to hang the plaque on the wall. Five minute warning, boys, five minute warnings. So I got like five minutes left and I haven't put the pasta in yet. Um, yeah, I kind of fucked that one up. I'm critiquing a lot harder on this dish. Execute properly, you worked really hard. Two minutes, boys, two minute warning. That means plate and start the plate. I noticed the very ends of the chicken, the breadcrumbs have burnt. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up. I go for the middle two cuts, maybe. I wanted to also check inside that the chicken was cooked. Happy with that? Okay, good. Probably could have done with a bit more seasoning, if I'm honest, but I hope when it comes to tasting, he's gonna take a big piece of chicken, massive bit of sauce, job done. Under a minute, boys. Ooh, Woo, buddy. Quick one. Oh, my man. Good save. Chef Nathan's plating. Plating what? Keep pushing, Stav, you got this, my man. I think in general, I did pretty well clock management. I wish I had maybe one or two more minutes. I completely blanked on a few things that I had to quickly run up and do. Get it on a plate, get it on a plate, get that cheese grated. 30, you're working really hard, really hard not to get all these ingredients on the plate. 15 seconds. Done. Oh my gosh. This time, I got a little bit of time to spare, so had to let Stevan know, so I walked right behind him, washed my hands, you know, let him know I'm just cool and collected. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me, but we'll see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Are you fucking washing your three, hands over there, douchebag? 2, I got plenty of 1, done. <laughs> you guys are done. Stop, stop cooking. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, I got hot in here today. It did, man. You got, uh, that, was, that, was, that was beautiful. I am drenched. If you, I don't know if you can see, I have the worst titty sweat right now. I think I performed better today, staying calm and cool and collected in the kitchen. I'm definitely not as confident as I was in the last round, but uh, I put something on the plate, so. <laughs> Chef, are you ready for me to eat this? As I'll ever be. Chef, are you ready for me to eat this? <laughs> I'm ready, baby. Let's eat. All right, chefs. Moment of truth. Chef Nate, talk to me. What do we okay. got? So, like we said in round one, eat with your eyes, right? Yes. Chef, he does this thing. He picks up your plate and he, he's like just eyeballing the poor guy. Like It just makes me so much more nervous because he's, he's got it right there. So a lot of beautiful colors, very vibrant. 
added what I think is a excellent, generous portion of uh, my own sauce. I was worried that he'd pick up on how dry it was, which, you know, him being a chef is kind of his job, so. He made a plate for Thor. It's fucking massive, which fits him. I mean, the dude's three of me. It looks like he ate me. How, how'd you do the sauce? Talk to me. So the sauce, I oven roasted the vegetables to begin with. Okay. Then I went ahead, put them in a pan, added a little bit of red wine, then blended it all up together, and then ladled it on top. I taste the wine, mm -hmm. um, I taste the butters, I taste the creams, and I taste every dry ingredient as you put in there, because I can tell you can use oregano. Yeah, oregano, is that how you say it? Oregano? 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 We say oregano. <laughs> oh, oregano? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Oregano. oregano. Talk to me about your chicken, though. Never fry chicken, I always air fry it. That's a health thing for me, personally. What happened with that hockey puck right there? <laughs> so, 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 I love the colors of the bun. When I took it out, I thought I can either use it as a weapon to hit Steph if he's, you know, okay. if he's getting a little chopsy over there. If not, I hope the chef is a lover of comedy as I am. Yes. It's garlic bread. I did leave it until probably the last minute, so he might get a mouthful of a full garlic clove, but, but hey, if he's a garlic lover, we're sweet. But this chicken like um, cooked through. Mm -hmm. The batter could have been a little better, mm -hmm. a little dry but it actually worked decently with your sauce. Your sauce right now is saving your plate. Mashed potatoes, creamy, cheesy, seasoned tomato. Thank you, chef. Of course. It is a straight straight down the line, 50-50 chance. I don't know who's gonna take it. Chef Stab. What's up, brother? Talk to me, what do we got here? This is a lighter version of a chicken parm. Okay. Um, as you can see, I don't usually eat fried stuff all that much. I'm right. a tinier man. So this is the first time I fried something. I tried to do a lighter take on everything else, more farm to table style, simple. Little light on the sauce, just because when it came to plating, I wanted to make sure it was all on the plate before anything else. I saw that you did a different method instead of frying. Uh, you actually did the baking method. So you did a sear in the pan, yeah. and you also um, put it in the oven. Do you think it was enough time to cook through? Um, so it was at 157 when I put it in the oven. I was trying to get to 165, so really it was more about melting the cheese on top. I already am not too confident right now, and as we're cutting into it more and more, I like how the chicken looks, but I can just tell it's not enough sauce, not enough things that I wish I could have done to it. That looks cooked through. Let's go. How'd you do your sauce? Sauce, I roasted it originally, did the mar uh, marinara on the side, then ended up blending and mixing together, adding some cayenne and red chili flakes to give a little bit of flavor and zing to it, but not mm -hmm. enough to pull away from everything else. So looking over at Steph's plate, I was a little bit nervous because he had so much on the plate. It looked beautiful. I would definitely eat Steph's plate. Potatoes need a little more time. Yep. Again, meant to be lighter. Lost the sauce in a little bit. I've seen worse things come out of restaurants. Me too. Tell your bread. Yeah, that's that's a brick. <laughs> <laughs> a little hard. A little bit. <laughs> One thing I would have done differently: just cook the potatoes a little longer. Yep. But your flavor profile is there. You can definitely tell you brought that Old Bay flavor mm -hmm. in, man. You definitely have a seasoned chicken, and it's cooked through. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. It's definitely nice to see when they cut into the chicken; it's fully cooked through. That was my biggest fear. So at least we came out of this with edible food. Utilize your time. Mm -hmm. Kept it saucy. Kept it very saucy. You took control on every single level here in this kitchen to execute your dish. You guys were focused. Your chicken could have been a little bit more moist. Your potatoes could have been a little better. Spaghetti had a little more sauce. Tomatoes seasoned well. Your mashed potatoes hit perfect. It's a chicken parm competition, right? It's chicken parm Not a competition. potato competition. But it's, and I'm just making is, sure. This is for the final guy. <laughs> This is for a, a spot in the finals. I think I have my winner. But there can only be one. Moving on.